It's got all the things you want. It's got stand-up comedy. It's got Jewish culture. It's got Tony Shalhoub. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, easily the best show on TV. It's got Alex Borstein as a little helpful comic. It's amazing, how, Russ. How dare you compare it to uh, Yellowstone? There, there's no comparison Yellowstone there. Yellowstone ain't got nothing on the Maisel, okay? Hey, I'll, get, I'll give this show a shot. Why not? But I'll tell you this. It's no Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's cool. That you were in Marvel and the MCU, and you 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 were in Hawkeye. Yeah. But if you were in the MMCU, the Miss Maisel Cinematic Universe, oh geez. I lose my mind. I would lose hey, my mind all the time. It's won a lot of awards, so obviously there's something good about it. I just um, is it based on a real person? It's based. Uh, I mean, the the creator of the show based it on their dad, who was trying to do stand up comedy in the 1950s. So okay. it's fake. So it is fake, but it, it a real characters appear in it. Like she becomes friends with Lenny Bruce, oh, who is a, a real, dink. who is a real life person, and easily gives one of the best monologues I've ever seen in the history of television. When I watch Maisel, I don't know. It's it's the period pieces of the costumes. By the way, I, that's my least favorite term in life is period pieces because it sounds grosser than what it is. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm with you. I'm even right. the costumes, I'm like, I'm like, damn, Maisel looks good. You know, like, it, it, she comes out with these, like, 1960s so you, dresses. So do you have the hots for Mrs. Maisel? Is that what you're saying? Is that what she, this is? Is a weird hot? fetish thing that you got going on? It's not It's not about how hot Mrs. Maisel is. And the actress who plays Mrs. Maisel is uh, is Rachel Brochanan. And so she do you is have hot. The hot do, so you have the yeah, hots for Mrs. Maisel. He wants to do her. I don't want to. I respect. <laughs> I respect Maisel. I'm, I would never. No. I would never sully the hey, name. You know what's a good show? Is Squid Games. It. Squid's <laughs> Games. Squid Games. Squid Games. I seen them all. I got a shirt that has the 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 leader of them. You saw a Philistine. Squid Games got nothing on Maisel. Okay. It's, it, I just want you guys to just try it out, okay? It's it's amazing. She's a woman how doing stand-up comedy. There's three seasons, Angel. No, no, three. no, no, but how many episodes do we got to give it that you'll give us credit for giving it yeah. an honest shot? Yeah, yeah. how many episodes I got to get there? Three. You got to get through the third episode of Maze. Three. And does, and does it come with the WNBA season pass uh, <laughs> when you watch it? I get it. This does not seem like the most manly show in the world, okay? It's not dudes in horseback riding yeah, around uh, shooting uh, indigenous people, okay? Westworld. Westworld. <laughs> now, that's a show. There, I'm going to tell you this up top. There are no uh, boobs in this show let whatsoever. Let me ask you another uh, question. Uh, now, no that's boobs. Wrong. That's, that's wrong that you would think that I would like, ro you know, these, these. But I got a question. Are there robot boobs <laughs> in this? Because in Westworld, There's robot the robot boobs. boobs look just like real boobs. <laughs> Question is to you. There is no, <laughs> there's no boobs, robot or other. <laughs> this is a classy show, sir. This is this is a lady okay. trying okay, trying to be not? a woman in the late fifties, early sixties, and you realize yes. how Sounds little riveting. power that women have, and all the things that they got to do, the hoops that they got to jump. The being divorced in that time is cr is is crazy hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go burn my bra now. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Look, it's very funny. It's written you ever watch very the shield? well. You ever watch The Shield? <laughs> I've, I've seen The Shield. <laughs> yes. Tough cop, Michael tough Chiklis. Cop. He's a yes. manly man. He watches manly stuff. I watch man. man. Thank you, Russ. A manly <laughs> man, man. I'm going to watch Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> no way. My wife tried to get me to watch So You Think You Could Dance. I divorced her. <laughs> hey, I can't imagine saying I'm going to go watch Mrs. Maisel. Nah, no. I've never seen a girly show. It's not I, mean, I a, might like it. I might like it. Who knows? It's but... not a girly show, first of yeah. all. It's a show it's a show about struggle <laughs> in New York City in Do the... you wear a big sweater when you watch it and just cozy <laughs> up with some pumpkin spice? Because when I watch shows I wear jeans and sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I just wear normal clothing. I do want to start to That's cosplay the while I watch me and it you. though. Yeah, yeah, you should cosplay. Dress up like a little cute 1950s milkmaid <laughs> and uh, Facebook Live it. Why don't you Twitch it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, you can't. What you can't just sit around watching The Shield and like pro sports Why? and be. And you're not going to be cultured. You're never going to get anything. Go that Bengals. Way. Go Bengals. I'm going <laughs> to be at the game. What does sports I, give you? Uh, sports, you're, you're watching other, you're watching millionaires play a game. With Miss Maisel, you're learning lessons. You're I, learning about history. You're learning about the the real. The, it's set in a real time I, with real people. Text after text is saying there are boobs in Miss Maisel, so you whoa, must have missed yeah. them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now he's keeping the goods to himself. <laughs> there are boobs when she gets arrested. 
What episode and what time? Oh, that's right. Yeah, like episode one. There are boobs. She gets topless. A lot of people are, are saying you don't know what you're talking about, right? Boy, they, that's the most text we've gotten in years. Our <laughs> listeners know when and when are and Boy. when are not boobs. I'll tell you that right now. Ryan's wrong. There are boobs in the first, uh, the first, uh, first, in the first and second episode. Episodes. Oh. You okay. know what was a good show? You know what was a good what? show? <laughs> What's that? Nip Tuck. Nip <laughs> Tuck. It was a perfect blend of a lot of hot banging, uh, hot chicks, super sexy doctors. <laughs> and uh, sports cars in Miami. I think this has got to be a record. Like about 150 texts. Yeah. All, oh, they, with they the word, miss all with the word. And they're like boobs. commenting on yeah. the like the boobs and how good they are in levels Whoa. of uh, okay. like. These guys are awesome. Hey, I like these dudes. Hey, <laughs> Monster Fan Snake, you, um, you, <laughs> Snake, you, uh, what, what's your favorite TV show of all, Snake? Um, all in the Family, number one. Um, <laughs> all right. Number two. Uh, let's see here. I like a lot of the Charles Bronson stuff. Oh, know? yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, circa 70s was uh, the highest capita of sports car to sexy detective dude. And finally, uh, Airwolf. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Snake. Why do, Snake, why do all your shows uh, center around hot dudes? There's, I'm talking about a hot lady in this one who does, I guess there are boobs at the beginning, uh, I'm, I'm I don't even I think got... you're an authority on that show anymore. I want to hear, listen because to Snake. Because I'm so interested yes, in the knows. dialogue and the story. I'm not hey, caring about the Hey, little girly man, sit down. A grown man's about to talk about TV and why it's so good. <laughs> it, start, it started with the honeymooners. You know, you had a strong, good-looking, you know, a man who worked hard, telling his wife to be quiet or what? Sending you to the moon. That, to inspired, the moon. that inspired kids to, to dream to go to the moon. Actually, that's a lot of this show. You might actually like it because this woman is told to shut up and sit down quite a bit. Hey. But the problem is she doesn't because Miss Maisel doesn't mess around. She's a, she's a high-class lady living in that time, and she says no to the patriarchy, Snake. No, sir. Miss Maisel don't play. This Who's sounds... tougher, uh, Miss, Miss Maisel or Ruth from uh, Ozark? Who's tougher? In a fight, Ruth from Ozark would beat okay. the hell out of Mrs. Maisel. But Miss Maisel doesn't fight you with their fist. She fights you with her wit and her words, and she talks fast and confuses you. That's uh, let's go, awesome. Ryan. I found I found a show for you, a movie that I think is pretty tough for you. It's the Traveling Sisterhood of Pants Yaya, um, <laughs> with the with the chick from Gilmore Girls. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, think you'll like it. I ain't trying to watch. <laughs> follow, the... follow it up with the notebook. Why don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't even use notebooks. I rip up notebooks because I ain't seen that crappy girly movie. Just because a show has a strong female lead does not mean that show is for women only exclusively. As a man... girly boy. <laughs> Stop calling me a girly boy. As a man who's very comfortable with his masculinity, I can watch a powerful woman and get hey, behind it all day hey, long. Hey, Ryan, where'd you get that jacket at? From Ellen DeGeneres? Because it looks... <laughs> it's a tight fit. You think Snake would like... You think Snake would like Mrs. Maisel? There's a boob in it. There's... I need more than one. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I don't know. It might not be for everybody. I'm just saying, go out of your comfort zone. It's it's a, it's a really well-written show, and then we can talk about it on air, and I only want to discuss Miss Maisel. I was thinking about having Maisel Mondays with you guys. And, uh, you Maisel guys are, Monday. Yeah, Maisel oh, Monday. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, oh, boy. Where we discuss. Where we discuss uh, oh, yeah, we can follow it up with Tampon Tuesdays for you, okay? <laughs> no way. I'm a manly oh, man. I only oh, watch manly <laughs> shows. I got to go watch Rambo first first blood <laughs> well uh, fine i i got i got a manly uh i got a manly thing for you snake i got it's a, it's a website with the most manliest man i know all right and that's that mortgage guy don from Ooh. that mortgage guy don dot okay. com i i am currently living at my parents home <laughs> <laughs> but when i get out of their attic and with my full dvd collection of super <laughs> tough guy films and shows I will call Ask Don. Okay, you go. You can go to that mortgageguide.com. You can you can email him with the Ask Don, and you can say I'll what. Be back, mom. I got it. I got. I, got, I will try that. it today. I want to start from season one, three episode episodes. one. Looking for the boobs. You got to give uh, me three episodes, Russ. I I pro You know what? I promise I'll do it. All, all right. right. Do I have to wear my boyfriend's shirt when I'm watching it? <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's my favorite character now. Snake is my favorite. I love Later, it. Later, guys. I got to go yeah. deliver some Uber Eats.
<laughs> All right. Uh, stay tuned for the News Junkie right after the Monsters. Then at 3 o'clock, it's the Jim Colbert Show. After that, you got Tom and Dan. Then it's Real Laughs with Monster Comics, Angelique's Corner, and we're back tomorrow to do our thing from <laughs> Snake, Carlos, Angel, and Ryan. And the leader of this mess of memory, man, Russ, tougher than Michael Chiklis in the Shield, Rollins. Hey, thank you so much for listening. We ain't got to go home. But we got to get out of here and watch the shows, bro. <laughs> Swirls.